Come on, come on! Woo! Welcome to Beacon Pines. Hey, hello! Welcome, my fellow gremlins, and welcome to my realm. I am Rena, and I hope you all are having a chill day. Today, we'll be playing Beacon Pines, a cute and creepy adventure set within a mysterious book. So, let's step in and find out what's going on in Beacon Pines. Adventures begin! Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Oh, really? In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Oh, really? Thank you. Without you, there is no story. Chapter 1. The Adventures Begin. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Hello there. Oh, he's cute. Uh, oh. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I started middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Aww. Teardrop. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Oh, after I banged on your door till your grand answered. And after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... Missing? Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Oh. So... Luca's mom is missing? Maybe? Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Okay, so he's gonna follow me now. There's nothing else to do there. Oh, oh, and we're running now. Adorable. <gasps> oh, oh, I got a trophy for that. A charmed life. Find a charm. Tickle. Interesting. Oh. Uh, does, uh... Tickle? Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Why, thank you. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Yes, ma'am. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay, so... Can I look at it? So just take a glance. Tickle. Can't really do nothing else. Let's resume. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you? I was wondering if you ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Rolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They? Who? Shh, not 
not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like a half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. All right. Uh, oh, they want me to check here. Oh, it's like a little objective. Okay, so I know they want me to go in there. Well, let's go in. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Yes, ma'am. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been okay. known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh, really? All right. Well, I guess it's time to look for them. Oh, couch. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Cute. Oh, this looks super cozy. Fireplace. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Yeah. Nice. You know what, Rolo? I might just chill here for the rest of the afternoon, you know? Ponder. Okay. <laughs> the sliding. Oh. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Doc? Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Aww. Not for years, though. Mm. Yeah. Brought him painful memories. Alright. Just some dusty knickknacks. Uh, let's go upstairs. See if it's just his room. If not, Graham may, may be up here. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Poor kid. Right, uh... Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide. What play these will be? Wonder, hide, tickle. Uh, oh, they share a bedroom. It looks like. Grand's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. So I guess she decided to move into his room instead of the parents. Depending what happened, though. I guess. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Ooh, chill. Cute. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Well, it is what it is. Alright. Well, she's not up here. How about that? And this is kitchen? Didn't mean to go that way. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. Okay. You recall, I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. Turning point? There are certain point. times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Okay. Step forth, dear reader. Uh... Yes, ma'am? A sturdy old wheelbarrow. No. Nope. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's Gran. Wow, I totally did not see her. Uh, what's this? A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Yeah. Hi, Gran. Hey, Gran. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. 
Uh, we're gonna go heart for the day. Oh. That's what these are for. Ponder high chill. So, so the less grand new, the better for everyone involved. We're gonna go ponder for the day. She's gonna believe that? Uh, I don't know. Hide for the day? Yeah, I, chill seems more fitting for this. To be We're honest. just gonna go chill for the day. Yeah. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Nice. Impressive. Shoo -shoo. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Chronicle. So, on my controller, I guess triangle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. Okay. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. New branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity so, to experiment with rewriting things. Essentially a tutorial spot. A grand jury. That's cute. Uh, we're gonna go for... Oh, wait. I guess I can try these? Yeah, ponder. We were just gonna go... Let's, let's give them a shot and see what, for what happens. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day, exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Uh, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Yeah. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. <laughs> so, and I guess we'll try hide. That's funny. So, okay. I'll give another shot. So, let's try hide. We were just gonna go hide for the day. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, <laughs> they avoid literally using the word hide. <laughs> Truth. Yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? Excuse me, Grandma. I don't know about that. Not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing with your little games and time for supper. All's well, but ends well. <laughs> okay. Well, I know she said this has no effect, but I liked chill the best, so we'll just do the chill we one over again. We're just gonna go chill for the day. Is there now an option to like skip the best lines or are speed built it on up? Truth. And I guess I can talk to her again. Oh, she's just saying shoo shoo. Shoo shoo, little one. Oh, Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Get into trouble with Rolo. Let's do the opposite thing that Grand says. Exactly. All right. Well, An let's array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator. Finish looking around. Each labeled with the day of the week. Oh, meal prepping here. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Junk. <laughs> Luca, that's a waste. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I can jump. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. That looks like some guarding items. Alright. Wait, did he leave the fridge open? Luca! My dude. 
That seems to be the end of it for now. Uh, get into trouble with Rolo. Got it. Right. Let's make sure there's no nothing hidden. Can't jump on that. Shucks. I guess that's it for there. Oh, oh. Come on, come on! Ooh! Dang it, Rolo. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For a Pines. town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. So he went that way. Now, I am a fan of RPGs. In my instance, tells me to go this way. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Oh, it won't let me. Never mind. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Oh. The one with the sign pointing in that direction? Chapter 2. Oh, already chapter 2. Yo. Welcome to Beacon Pines. Oh my god, the name call out! For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Alright. Oh, we got a lot to do here. Um... Well, let's start, actually. Old Pickler's Pond. Well, that's the secret passage. I guess I can't talk to you. Maybe later. Uh, hello. Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valent... Flustered, <sighs> Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. <laughs> huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. Alright, what can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh. Just saying hi, I guess. Huh? Well, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come on now. When I was your age, it was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. You're gosh damn right it is. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Be sure to invite all of your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca. I gotta get back to the Perivio grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. Ho oh, now! The left side's a little low. <laughs> oh, cool spot. Wonder if there's a trophy for hitting all the cool spots. Alright, and we got some other characters here. Hello, that one is sleeping. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. I don't blame you, dude. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair. Bah, don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's the napping today? Crummy as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a showdown they want, ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Zzz. Huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we'll pound ya. Oh no, bullies. Yep. Yeah, but my mom said, 
Yeah, but, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. Oh boy. And we can't do nothing about it? Maybe later down. Uh, hello. Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at perennial harvest. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful. It won't happen again. If we are going to be on a first name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here, in the Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? Oh boy. You bet. If we're gonna change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. <laughs> Changing the world is intense. So, what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Oh, survey time. Well, I guess if it's quick... Wonderful! Open to answering a few quick questions. Okay. One down. See, it's not that hard, is it? Oh, okay. We're going already? Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought about it before. Perfect. <laughs> it's the only place I lived. See, that wasn't so painful. Pete stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Okay, a bit weird. What is it? Uh, I guess not. Who's that? Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest for your thoughts for later. Oh, okay. Our harvest awaits. <laughs> All right, weird interaction. I'll be just as confused as you, Luca. All right, Rolo's waiting up at the treehouse. Can I go in there? Nope. All right. On fourth? There. Uh, mission control. Authorized personnel only. It's a chair. Can I go in it? Probably his chair. Hey, Jetson. Is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken to standing recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at the rail. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a greater listener. Interesting. I actually wonder if that's really not a kid, actually. Chair? Oh, chair. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Dom. Oh, Dad. Tackle box. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Oh, uh, tickle. Hmm, that might be cute, depending what the bait is. Let's Luca try that. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Ah, I think I know where this is heading. Good for skimming the surface. Hmm. Give it a good cast now. That's dead. All right, let's go for it. You'll have to reel it in a bit faster. Or you catch will lose interest. Heh. <laughs> Oh, wait, am I actually fishing? Go pick out your bait from the tickle box, buckaroo. Luca we'll gently stick baited a feather onto the hook. With a feather. Good for skimming the surface. All right, let's try this again. Oh, am I supposed to hold it down? 
Luca gently baked good for oh, skimming. No offense. I don't think you need to repeat yourself. Okay. Third time is the charm. I I yeah. Listen, I will get it this Luca time. I swear. Skimming this. I got it. I can do this. Did I mean it this time? I meant this Luca time. I will get it. The surface. I swear. Let's let's do this. So I had to hold it. FY. Oh. <sighs> you don't know your own strength. Okay. <laughs> Luca so I must have to let go of it. Okay. We can do this. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna let go. We got it. We're gonna get it. A. Wait. Is that a. Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you it'd turn up. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's random. Oh, I guess I can't look at it. How about now? Go pick out your. Okay. Okay. I guess I gotta fish a bit. Oh. Oh. Maybe I had to do one of each. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Well, let's find out. All right. Now we got this fishing thing down. I wasn't expecting fishing in this game. Oh, of course, a old boot. Where do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, whatever it is, I hope the other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Hmm, I feel like that had more meaning to it. Alright. Oh, could there possibly be... Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. Another possible bait if we can nice go string. back and forth with the turning point system. I wonder... Look, Dad, we are a pro fisher now. We got this shit under control. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. This is repeated. There's supposed to be another option with the feet. I don't have it. Can I leave? I can. Oh, maybe that was the number. Okay. Unless there's more to it, maybe I need to find something else for it. Alright. Can I talk to you? I guess we can come back to that. Maybe if we find another word for it. Hold on. Let me explore outside first. Make sure there's nothing extra. Maybe there's something in the treehouse even. Is that a... No. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. I guess that's it. All right, there, there's definitely gonna be things After Luca's to explore. father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Hmm. Rolo's a bro. Cool spot? Chilling like a villain. Is there something else here? Radio? On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Rollo thinks it's aliens. <laughs> he always thinks it's aliens. You know, he might be right. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So, you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since. Since the vowel harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You wanna actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. 
don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my paw throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. <laughs> I've got your back. Rolo is such a bro. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go!